Hi everyone, Katie with Spilling Paint here. So, if you follow my Facebook page, you'll see that I posted a picture of a bunch of different um, palettes, color palettes, and asked people to choose a color palette or two for me to uh, paint. So, I picked one. Uh, I went with the Raspberry, which one person commented it on my page, and another one commented it on my my personal page. Uh, so, for that, we've got black. That's Saks True Flow. We have, where did it go? There it is. White. Uh, this is actually a mix of different whites. <clears throat> We've got a mix of Blick Bright Red and Sax Black to get a maroon. I have Montmartre Magenta. And I have a mix of silvers and black and white for the silver. Well, it was gray in the picture, but I decided to go with silver uh, just to have the metallic. And I'm going to do like I did with that yellow piece, <clears throat> but I'm doing it over two larger canvases. I think I've got it in frame. I had to do a lot of messing around with my little stand here, but... I think I've got it and I'm gonna use the black and white as the base and these is the the colors and I think I'm gonna set them like this um, <clears throat> kind of off you know just offset from each other uh, I think it'll make it interesting so anyway let's get to it I'm gonna set these out of the way because we don't need them yet and I'm going to start with the white. And I want, maybe I should start with the black. Yeah, maybe I should start with the black. And I'm not sure if this is really thin enough. Eh, yeah, I think it would be alright. And maybe I should pour this into a smaller cup to make this easier. I use this cup that I was using to mix part of it. Okay. So, let's see. Where do I want to go? <clears throat> I think I'm going to start about right here. Come through. And then end right here. So let's do that. Mm, this might be thick. Definitely looks a little thick. That's okay. Um, it should still be thin enough to do what I need it to do. Try to get all this poured out over here. Make sure I've got enough paint down to spread it around. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, my throat's a little dry today. All right, let's set you aside. I hope there's enough white in here. <laughs>
we're running low. <laughs> I have another little cup, but that's really for the, uh, I guess I could use some of it on here. Oh, that's the end of this. All right. Let's see if I can get that spread around. That might be enough. Um, I think I'm going to use my hair dryer here on the white. Stuff on. Okay. All right, gonna be a little noisy. This is going to take a little work. I'm going to pause you and I'll be back. Okay, and we're back. I went ahead and torched as well and uh, tried to touch up my sides as best as possible and got out the hairs that inevitably flew in there. So let's get with the colors. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the maroon. And I'm just going to go Sorry, my neighbors are mowing right now, so you might hear that in the background. Supposed to be getting more rain today. I'm so fed up with it. I really need to get some paintings uh, varnished, which I do outside because, you know, fumes. And I can't because of all this rain we've been having. And it's not raining right now, obviously, but. Uh, as long as they would have to sit out there, it would end up raining while they were out there. And I just don't trust uh, the wind not to get rain all over my paintings, even under the covered porch. really like this maroon next to the black. I'm going to have to definitely do more with those colors. Another hair! Ugh. Okay. I think that's good on the maroon. Where's my little thing here? There it is. Okay, now magenta. All right, 
and silver. Okay, now we need our low over colors. Put more black in this little cup here. I'm going to try to go real light the black just because I don't want the paint to travel that far into the black just a little bit and white Let's torch and then I'll get the hair dryer. Okay. All right, be prepared for noise. Let's, uh, let's start up here. Okay, first of all, this color selection, awesome. Love it. I, I love it. That, I might have to redo right there, but that, oh, that's so pretty. What just fell in there? What? <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's see. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, man. I definitely like this. Definitely like this. Um, Alright, I'm going to blow here a little bit and figure something out here. Uh, ignore my hair. I just threw it in a ponytail and then threw a headband on just to keep my hair out of my face and from dipping in the paint. So it looks terrible. But, I mean, it pretty much always looks terrible. So I don't even know why I'm talking about it. <laughs>
that's better. That's better. Oh man, I love this. <laughs> These colors are so amazing. Okay, let's see here. That that needs to go. Popped a bubble there and there was just silver up under it and it did some weird stuff there. That's okay. We can fix that real easy. better. Oh, guys, I love this so much. Uh, do I want to do any more to it? I, I think I want to just step away from it. Uh, yeah, I think I just need to step away and not touch it except for getting that giant clump of paint out of there <laughs> i have a feeling i'm gonna have to touch up my sides on at least the black uh because i did not pre-paint the paint the the canvas and uh i didn't gesso it gesso gesso however you pronounce it um yeah yeah, I'm gonna walk away from this. I don't want to touch this. I do want to torch some more because there's still some air bubbles here. Okay. All right. I'm gonna take you in for a closer look. Look at those colors. Guys, I love this so much. I think this one might have to stay with me. <laughs> and I'm definitely going to play with these colors some more because, ugh. I don't know. I just, I'm loving this right now. I might need to fix that area there. I don't know. I'll probably just leave it for now. And if I need to fix it later, I'll I'll go over it with uh, just a paintbrush after it dries. This is, yeah, yeah. I'm very very happy with how this turned out. Those colors are just perfect, and I I love this part here that just comes down all the way into the black. At first I didn't. At first I was like, oh no, I need to get rid of that. Now, now I'm liking it more and more. I got little bitty cells, nothing much. Alright, I'm going to put you back up now. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did because I love this. Um, <laughs> I cannot say that enough. I love this. Anyways... Uh, be sure to check out my Facebook link below. I am having a 50% off sale on my paintings. Um, and it ends Sunday night at midnight central time. 
So running out of time and I've sold a few already, but my, uh, my shelf where I keep all my dry paintings, I just got one in yesterday. I was just stacking them on top, on the top shelf of my drying rack which one hated because if I needed to get to a particular one, I had to dig through the pile. And of course, every single one of them had to be covered with a piece of cloth or something to keep it from ruining the painting. And it was just a pain. So I got a metal rack or a metal shelf um, and I tied string in various positions to where it'll keep them sitting straight up. And I can just slide them in. I've got easy access to each one. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty much already full <laughs> from the paintings I already had. So, definitely need to get some of these sold. So, please check out the Facebook page and, uh, and see what I've got on there for sale. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. I had a blast with this one. And I hope to see you all next time. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Bye! Wah, 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 wah.